Hey everyone, welcome to a brand new episode of DC Collectors. Today, I'm taking a look at my favorite McFarlane Toys DC Multiverse figures released to date. There are a few caveats here, and uh, I'm going to go over them right now. Two, I don't have, or actually three, I don't have the Devastator, I don't have a Robin from the, the, the Metals run and I don't have the new 52 Nightwing with the red variant. So those three figures are not counted in this release. They are all on their way to me. They are just in USPS limbo right now. I don't have those on hand so those will not be counted but of the ones I do have these will be my favorites that I'm gonna I'm just gonna randomly pick things out till we narrow it down to my favorite figure out of the 2020 releases and before I do that I'm just gonna say that you know my favorites may not necessarily coincide with your favorites I may have nitpicky issues with some of these figures that you don't have and um, and you know that's what's fun about being a collector we all have our different opinions about things but these will be the figures that that I prefer and uh, I'll display the top five you know I'll, I'll just pull them out as I as I don't like them and I'll tell you a little bit about why I don't like them um, and these are not pulling them out are in no necessary order. I'm just pulling out what I see that I don't like. So I'm going to start out pulling out figures that I don't like. And we're going to start out with Green Arrow here. Uh, Green Arrow, unfortunately, you are at the bottom of the pack. I do know that he is at the bottom of the pack. I do not like this Green Arrow figure at all. So he is going to the bottom. All right, so the next figure to go will probably be, oh my God, these are all like really, really cool action figures, so it's really hard to decide, but I'm going to go with this Batman, the uh, the variant version of the original release. Just not a fan of this figure. Just not a fan of him at all. Um, I mean, he's, he's okay, just uh, the size of the head really bugs me, and we're going to go with his buddy the original release as well just not the head on this thing just does not it, it doesn't do like i want it to it's too small um the next one that's gonna go and i just see him is this flash he was released in the two pack with the red death i hate this <laughs> this face is just awful so that's the reason he's going Again, not that he's a bad figure. I just don't like the face. Um, this Arkham, I think this is Arkham Asylum Batman. While the figure looks good, the eyeball, there's something weird about the eyes that I don't like. It could be the, the you know, just so white and just the dots in the middle. I don't, I don't know. He, not a bad figure. I just don't like him. Um, I know some people are going to complain about this, but bye-bye Batman who laughs. Uh, for whatever reason, I, this one just doesn't fit well to me. Uh, I guess it could be the neck or the lack of a neck because of the shoulder pads. I don't know. It just it, he doesn't he doesn't do it for me. Um, this particular Batman, he is so hard to get to stand. Once you get him in a position, you might as well leave him because these animated version toys are are not don't stand well. Same thing with this Batman. He's got to go. I don't like him. And well, I shouldn't say I don't like him. I like every one of these figures, but for some re you know, certain reasons, I like some more than others. This Superman animated figure. See, he didn't. Even, <laughs> he's supposed to have a stand with him, but he came off the stand just pulling him out. The, you know, for some reason, some of these figures don't don't stick to the stand as well, and that really bothers me. Um, next to go will be. Let's see. This is getting it's getting tough here. Um, I'm gonna pull Harley out. Uh, unfortunately, Harley does not make the list. Well, she's a fine figure. Uh, she just doesn't make the top five for me. So we're gonna pull her out. Next to go is this Jim Lee Joker or DC Rebirth Joker. Yeah, I don't know. He just looks wonky. Some compared to the others he looked wonky i don't i don't know how to describe it other than that to say that that he looks wonky next to go next to go next to go it's getting really tough here because there's some great figures in this in this run 
I'm gonna have to say who oh, Wonder Woman reason being those legs are just way too long I mean they, something looks weird about those legs I I don't know I don't know um, let's try to get some people moved back in over here kind of fill in the gaps a little bit here let's see and the next to go will be oh I hate to do it Nightwing you just you're you stand head and shoulders above everybody else so yeah and your arms look really really small compared to the rest of your body so he's got to go next up will be let's see who's the next to get ousted Probably this Curse of the White Knight Batman, while he is indeed a very cool figure, just just not my cup of tea. Not my cup of tea. Oh gosh, man, this is getting tough. This is really tough. Next up will be this Arkham Knight Batman. Kind of a cool figure. He just doesn't feel right to me for some reason, so he's not going to make the cut here. Let's try to get some more people in focus so I can pull some of these back over here from from the edge um, come here grim knight put you up front and i see my next to go will be this green lantern he's a he's, he's a cool figure it's hard i want to keep him in uh he's he's one of the ones that do, that to me has has stand you know can stand on this thing without falling so i hate to take him out but he's got to go Next on the list to go will probably be, and I hate to do it, this Wonder Woman figure, which she is a, out of the two Wonder Woman figures that have been released, I do like this one a lot more than I like the regular 84 Wonder Woman. Oh man, this is getting pretty tough. This is getting tough. Okay, so the next to go will be this Curse of the White Knight Joker. Uh, I don't like that the arms are not white, especially with the white face Joker on him. I don't dig that. Next to go, whoo, uh, gosh, this is going to be tough. I'm going to take Batgirl out. Batgirl, you are a fine figure, but again, you're way taller than every other figure for whatever reason. So you don't really fit what I want to do. Next, Deathstroke. Uh, you didn't come with a whole sheath, man. I can see the opening right here, so you have to go. Which I didn't want to do that. There's some really, really, really awesome figures left here to go. God, I don't even know. I don't even know where to start. I'm gonna take. While I do like the look of this, I'm gonna take the Grim Knight out. He's a really awesome figure, and I'm probably gonna kick kick myself for taking him out this early, but. Yeah, I, I have to. He's he's he doesn't cut it. Flashpoint Batman. The reason you're coming out is that awful beard. This just looks like it's just splattered with paint. Um, and and that's the only reason because he is an awesome figure as well. The next to go will probably be. Oh God. Ah oh, man, what, what do I do? I hate to do it, but the Flash. Um, but. He, I don't like the chest emblem and the way that they were stuck in the box while he's a fine figure. Just that really works on my nerves. So we're pulling him out. Oh God, the next to go, next to go, next to go. I don't know what to do here. The next one is going to be uh, probably this Batman who laughs while he is an excellent, excellent figure. Just uh, he doesn't compare to some of these other ones. So he's going to go next to go will be this Batman right here. He's an awesome Batman, but I don't know. Is he as cool as the other figures in my opinion? I don't know. Whew. Let's see who goes next. Who goes next? Um, I'm going to probably pull this Batman here. Murder Machine. Uh, he is a very nice figure, but I'm still going to pull him next. Let's see who all is left. We'll leave that there, that there. Move these guys back a little bit. And, uh, oh gosh, this is tough. 
I'm going to pull Superman the Infected. He is, that is the coolest Superman body that they've made, but, uh, you know, I got to start pulling somewhere here. I got to start narrowing it down. Oh, gosh. How many do I have left? Two, four, six, eight, nine. We got to break this up. So, Hellbat, you're going away. Superman, Unchained, you're staying for the time being. Um, I just need to get him out of the way. Let's see who's left. Uh, oh man, this is gonna be tough. Okay, this guy's got to go. He is a he's a really cool cool figure, really top notch. I was surprised because he was one of the ones I didn't want to begin with, but super surprised at the way he turned out. Um, so a very nice figure. Uh, so we had we'll be down to three, four, five, six, seven. Woo! Seven figures left. Oh my gosh. As much as I hate to do it, Red Death, he's an awesome figure, but the way he's just craw he's just bow-legged because of the way he was stuck in the package, that really sort of makes me mad about that figure. Oh gosh. Who's next? Who's next? We're gonna pull the Superman. This Superman may be the best Superman in this costume ever produced in action figure form, uh, in my opinion. But we're going to pull him in favor of, of others here. Uh, so now we're down to the top five. Here we are. We're going to, so let's just rank these in order in the top five. We're just going to pull him up a little bit. And, okay, so number five, I'm going to have to say is Cyborg. I love this action figure, even, th even though... His arm broke off in the package when I took him out. I absolutely love this figure. He is number five. We'll put him over here. Joker, we're going to rank you at number four. The Arkham Asylum Joker is an absolutely fantastic figure. I love that thing. Azrael, we're going to put you there at number three. Um, again, just a very cool figure. Now... Oh, who's number two? Who's number two? I'm going to put Red Hood at number two and Superman Unchained as my favorite McFarlane figure of the year. This guy, even though he was released in wave one and they've made lots of strides, still the look, the color paint, the, the, the articulation, just that Gundam style look, you know, mixed with DC makes this guy my number one McFarlane figure of the year. <sighs> All right, so I think that's it. That's my top five DC Multiverse figures of the year. And remember, I'm still missing three figures, but I don't think they would have made that much difference out of, out of this because these guys are my favorites. Uh, leave your comments in the, the, um, the comment section below. Let me know what you think your top McFarlane figure or your top five figures are. And, uh, and let me know what you think about my top figures. Um, are they in line with yours? Do you hate me for picking these five over others? Let me know in the comment section. Would love to hear your thoughts on it. Peace.